What is up zombie slayers? This is Mixmaster Nut and today I have a couple clips for you showing you how to get a fast pack a punch time. So this first clip I'm showing you, this is my plan A strategy. This is what I do when everything goes according to plan. If I could run a pack a punch route like this every time, I would. So um, here I go, I'm just starting with trying to knife as many of these zombies as I can before the rush. And uh, I think I get around 2,000 points, uh, just under 2,000 points before the initial rush, which is, is optimal. I usually sh shoot for over 1,600 points. But you see, um, I got hit once, so I just keep it moving. I don't attack the zombies to stop for a moment. Just take a breather because I can't take two hits at all. And I pop off a few bullets here. I run my, my route really wide right here. I drop my nade in a way so that the zombie train just kind of circles around it. Now I'm just trying to clean up any leftover zombies as, as fast as I can. I think I shot that one zombie because I didn't want to attack both him and the dog at the same time. That would have been dangerous for a double swipe. And right here, just you got to try to kill the dogs as fast as you can, but the bell just rung. So that last one was, turned into three hits. So that's why I stopped attacking him, why he didn't die, and just kept moving. Run the same route, drop my nade again, and uh, circling around that cage so that it kind of engulfs all the zombies. And I got a lot of crawlers this time, which is optimal. Crawlers are good because you get the most points for knifing zombies to the death rather than blowing them up or shooting them. So I, I put my guns in the machine and I make a risky choice right here and I get double tapped right there. Uh, two swipes down. I didn't expect two swipes. I only expected one, but whatever. I have no regrets. I'd roll the dice on that one every single time because fast pack punch time is what it's all about if you want to get a really high score on no man's land. So that is my plan A route. That's what goes on when everything goes according to plan. And uh, here's my plan B strategy. It's very similar to plan A in many, many ways, but there's a couple different changes. And I'll show you where the change-ups are and why. They're more of just improvisations than anything. But um, So we just start off as normal, trying to just knife up all these, all these slow zombies as fast as we can before the first rush. And this run, I actually get a really good start, like an exceptionally well start. I wish I could get this many points every time before this first bell. But, uh, so I'm still attacking zombies. I got one quick on his back right there. I don't know how I survived that dog. Um, perfect timing, I guess. And here's the plan B route. See this wall of zombies? There was no going through that wall of zombies. So I double back and, and squeeze where I came through. That's the plan B route. And I double back again right here just to get this nade off on all the zombies. Remember, I'm going for a really fast pack punch time, so I had to drop it right there or never. And uh, somehow lived through that. I was going for the dog rather than the zombie, but yep, I got lucky and the uh, zombie didn't swipe me back. And here we go. I have to run my plan B route again. See that wall of zombies was there? So um, best option was just turn around and circle around like that. And instead of double backing again, I'm just going to back up firing and run through this cage while I prime a nade. So a slight variation on the first run, but I both, excuse me, I consider both of them the plan B route. Now I had a really good run going, so all I had to do was drop my nade. I didn't have to knife any crawlers, and I put my gun in the machine, and uh, this is about as fast as you could get your guns out of the machine once you put them in. And so here it is, you know, that's basically the strategy, guys, for getting a fast pack punch time, or that's my strategy at least. And uh, the rest of this is just all gravy. It's just me continuing to practice. Like I said, this is just a practice run because I have speed coal instead of juggernaut. But it's still good to practice right here because uh, you need to practice not blowing your own ass up with your Mustangs and Sallies. You need to know when to shoot one shot or no shots or two shots. How much damage you can take before you can shoot off a shot. Your uh, damage radius from the explosion, all that stuff. So this is just good practice right here. And I recommend you guys practice on no man's land getting fast pack punch times and all that because it will make you a better zombie slayer I guarantee you doing these type of the runs this will make a man out of you this will make your balls drop make you grow hair on your chest all of it right, this is like the zombie version of X-Men war room right here and here's where I make a mistake I was a little bit damaged and I shot off both shots so that's where I made a mistake but whatever it's just a practice run but uh, there we go, 100 kills without even getting my pack a punch. So 
Hope you guys enjoyed. And remember, guys, only you can prevent zombie outbreaks. This is Mixed Master Nut, and I'm out. Peace.